Okay. So I just want to show a play style that I've been using with DFA on like Offside and Dread recently. Um, I, I go aggro bank. Uh, not BIA, but bank into BIA. And basically what it does, you'll see, you'll see on paper it should never work. Like seriously, bank just gets less money. It just gives like 30 eco around so much. But it somehow just works. Um, I really don't know why. But it just does. So here I just go to 297. And somehow it was a couple bucks off. My form. I didn't play this game ideally, but I still got... Um... Pretty good farms. And, yeah. Generally, I'll go to 500 eco before I get a bank, and that's really important. Because I need to be making a lot of eco money while I have the bank up. In order for this whole thing to work... Um, yeah, I just boost yellows just to get some eco and make him leak. Because I'm not going to use my bloom boost like round 14, probably. At least I don't think. I'm not going to use a bloom boost around like 16, so may as well use one early game. I mean, you know, it's a very even game at this point. He's up slightly in eco. I have slightly more money. Now I'm just kind of saving up. So yeah, he sends a rush. I get this defense. And this defense with the jug, two spools, and three trips. That just that just defends every, uh, every round 14 rush pretty much. So now I defend his rushes without boosting. Basically, because it's offside, so, you know. I mean, he said he could have perfectly layered and made me boost on round 16, but, yeah. If you'll notice, I had... If you will re if you can rewind, you'll notice the money amount I had. Like, I collect from my BAA when I, ha when I had, like, 2.3k in it, I, I believe. And, yeah. I don't think I needed to boost here. I could have just leaked a bunch. I'm not sure why I boosted. Whatever. But I guess I did. And, I'm, and I have enough money for my fan club because of all the eco I'm getting. So, you know. I mean, here I just get double jog, and then I send a bit to force defense out of him. Or a boost. That works too, so he can't greet, like, every AI around until round 26. And, yeah. Here we both boost to get... Our facts. And basically I have the same forms as him, pretty much. But I have a BIA. I hear that's pretty good. Like, like I'm just gonna outform hard. And, yeah, just check. And I just boost here so I can get two facts um, around 24. And this allows for even better farms than uh, I would normally get. And I just go for my normal around 25 defense. Then I sell a jug to get a fact even. And 
and I keep getting forms. So yeah. Yeah, he's getting out formed. Which is pretty nice. I have like eight facts. Yes, seven. And I'm going to be up by two, two facts. And I'm going to have a couple extra specters in the end as well. Which is really, really nice. Wait, no, I get 11 facts. And he gets... Ten somehow. Is that twelve? I have twelve factories and he has ten. <laughs> but anyways, it's it's clear that I have a really, really nice I'm in a really, really nice spot here. I probably should have gotten for Spectres over Farms last minute there. Like, having five specters here would have been really, really nice, but, you know, I didn't do everything right this game. And late game is just a typical BIA game, basically. But because Salem is good and he knows how to uh, get good farms. But in the end, I just all out sooner. Because round 35 all outs are pretty hard to defend. In the end, he, end up, he ends up dying... Because he started uh, GZing too late, I believe, is what he told me. Which I think is pretty much accurate, yeah. So now I get ready to GZ a bunch and he dies, okay. That's basically how bank works. It shouldn't work on paper, but it does in practice. Um, yeah. <laughs> 